Welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm back with my new video of how to set up a BT Wi-Fi extender. This time I've added a little twist to my video. I've created a PPT with all the detailed steps that is required to set up a BT Wi-Fi extender. And I'm sure once you go through this PPT, you'll be able to set up your BT Wi-Fi extender without any issues and within fraction seconds. So guys, uh, without wasting time, let me just quickly walk you through the PPT and I hope you're going to enjoy that. So if you look at the first slide, this is a picture right in front of you and this is how I've placed my Wi-Fi extender in my home. So my router is being placed in drawing room and I have a very good signal strength in the drawing room. I can connect my mobile phone, my laptop without any issues. But if I just go to my second room and try to connect from there, then it is a big problem because of the weak signal strength. So what I've done is I've just placed the BT Wi-Fi extender within my drawing room where I have a very good signals and I've just extended my drawing room signals to my second room and now I'm able to connect to my Wi-Fi extender from my second room itself so now everything all the problems that I was facing earlier is sorted out so moving on to the next slide is so I would be discussing today a method through which you can connect your BT Wi-Fi extender and that is WPS which is basically known as Wi-Fi protected setup so this is uh, one of the most simplest method of connecting uh, your Wi-Fi extender and in this method basically what happens is you just press the WPS button on your router and next within two minutes you need to just press the WPS button on your Wi-Fi extender and it takes hardly 20 to 30 seconds and your Wi-Fi extender will automatically get configured and connected to your router. So I'll just quickly explain what all steps are there and I, I hope that would be pretty simple and straightforward. So the first step is you need to just identify the WPS button on your router. And in my case, I'm having a BT connection. So I'm having a BT home hub. So if you look at the left hand side of the hub, you'll find out the WPS button there. And apart from that, I have just given a snapshot of a couple of more routers because it could be possible that you would be having a different service provider. And every service provider has a different set of routers. So probably you can just have a view of that. You have a Netgear uh, snapshot over there. So everybody is having the same uh, common name that is WPS. So you need to just locate that WPS button on your router, wh whichever it may be. So moving on to the next step is uh, step two. In this case, Nike, you have to just find out the WPS button on your BT Wi-Fi extender. And the best part about the BT Wi-Fi design is like the WPS button is located in front of uh, the BT Wi-Fi extender itself. However, it could be possible that you have some other Wi-Fi extender. You can use any other product uh, or any other manufacturer. Maybe it could be from Netgear or TP-Link. It could be anything. So I've just given a snapshot of uh, a different Wi-Fi extender. So you can just look at the WPS button on that as well. So now guys, uh, let's move on to step three. So basically I have just plugged in my BT Wi-Fi extender to the power supply. And if you see the light is blinking slowly and you need to just give 10 seconds because once you plug in your Wi-Fi extender, it start booting. So you need to just give 10 to 12 seconds. And once that is done, you're, you're ready to just follow the process. So moving on to the step four, this, this is basically the actual process that has to be done so once you have located the wps button on your wi-fi router and your extender so now you have to just press the wps button on your wi-fi router and if you see this particular slide you'll just locate you'll just have that uh, yellow button which is being you'll have just yellow box which is being highlighting the wps button so just press that and remember that within two minutes you need to just press the button on your Wi-Fi extender as well. So I've pressed this button and I'll just quickly move on to step five. So in this case, uh, I'm just pressing the button on my Wi-Fi extender. And if you look at the video, I've already pressed this uh, Wi-Fi WPS button on my Wi-Fi extender and now it's configuring right now. So let's wait for two or three more seconds and it'll, the light will turn to solid solid amber so that means 
my Wi-Fi connection is done. Yes, it's now AMB. So that means my Wi-Fi extender is configured and it's now connected to my BT Wi-Fi router hub. So moving on to step six, let me just quickly walk you through the possible status of light. So as you have seen in the previous slide, uh, the light was flashing uh, amber. So that means it's authenticating uh, with your router. And there could be possible two outcomes of the authentication. Either it is successfully connected or it fails. So in case if it is successfully connected, then the light will turn to green, solid amber or red and in case if it's flashing red so that means there's a problem and you need to just follow these steps once again so once this step six is done guys let me just quickly move on to step seven so now you need to just connect your laptop to your wi-fi extender so if you look at the yellow uh, arrow which is like highlighting the the network icon in your toolbar so if you just click on that, it will show all the possible uh, Wi-Fi connection which is there, which is listed on your laptop. So my BT uh, connection is named by my home. So once I click on that, it just showed me like what all Wi-Fi connections are available. So I just clicked on uh, ext hyphen my home because this is my connection. So you need to just click on that and you need to just type in your uh, password basically it's uh, your wps router key which is being provided by your service provider so just type in that and click on connect so it will automatically get connected so your laptop will be connected to your wi-fi extender so if you want to check your status of the connection so you can you can just open an internet explorer or maybe a chrome or mozilla that depends on your uh, on your uh, operating system so you need to just type in this uh, uh, this address that is http colon forward slash forward slash my bt device dot home forward slash login dot html and you need to just hit enter if you look at the snapshot also i've just given a i've just given a picture there so once you hit enter there is a small box which will pop up in front of you with a bt logo so now in this uh, box you need to just type in the BT Wi-Fi extender admin password and you can get that this particular password from the your Wi-Fi extender which is at the back of the Wi-Fi extender so just type in this particular password and just click on login so once you do that this is how the status will look like and if you look at this particular image my home is the actual router which is connected to internet right and my extender is being named by ext hyphen my home and the third is the laptop and mobile phone which is connected to my extender so this is how exactly your 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 page will look like okay guys let me just move on to uh, the next before that let me just tell you there are other sections also if you have a setup section you have network uh, extended network you have ad advanced options you have help i'll just come up with a separate video to explain all these uh, all these options uh, separately now moving on to the next and the last one is basically uh, the light status of the of the extender so i thought that i i should just quickly give an overview of like what all possible uh, light status you have so in case if you have a red flashing light and it's slowly flashing so that means you have just plugged in your router to the power supply and it's booting up as of now so you need to just wait for 10 to 15 seconds and in case if your light is flashing quickly so that means you need to move your wi-fi extender closer to your hub that means it's very far off from your router another possible status of the wi-fi extender light is red that is solid so that means your wi-fi extender is too far off from your router in case if you have green light so that means your location of the wi-fi extender is uh, perfect and optimum and you're getting a very good signal strength and in case if you have an amber so that means it's too close if you remember um, our ppt back 
there is light which was constant and amber so that means my wi-fi extender is uh, connected near to my router and that's what i've done initially i would recommend that you should plug in your wi-fi extender near to your router and once your setup is done then you need to just plug in to a spot that you have identified which is having a very good signal strength and that can be used to extend your wi-fi signals to the the location where exactly that there is absolutely no signal or weak signals so guys i i i think this is uh, self-explanatory and uh, based on the light you can just place your wi-fi extender to an optimum distance from your router so moving on to the last slide that is uh, guys i think uh, uh, I've already done with my video so thank you very much for watching this video I would request you guys to subscribe and click on like button if you like my video and in case if you have any questions or any suggestions for me please don't forget to put them on the comment section and definitely I'll going to come back uh, with the answers if in case if it is required and uh, I seriously want to thank everybody for watching the video and uh, i've got a lot of like comments on my previous unboxing video of uh, bt wi-fi extender and how to set up a bt how to reset a bt wi-fi extender which is a very good start for me and uh, i seriously don't have words to say thanks for that guys